Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh And welcome to the science class for year 3 Before we start our lesson, we shall recite doa Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Rabbi Shrali Sadari Wa Yasri Amri Wa Ahlul Udata Minisani Yaqahu Kauli Rabbi Zidni Alma Wa Rizukni Fahma Wa Sallallahu Ala Sayyidina Muhammad Wa Ala Alihi Wa Sahbihi Wa Sallam Okay, now the topic for this week would be grouping animals by their body covering. We have learned about last week, we have learned about grouping animals by how they move, and this week we shall cover about grouping animals by their body covering. So, our objective is uh, to group animals into their correct body covering that is, fur, feathers, and scales. And we shall talk about this more later. What we need to do is to talk about animals' body covering, and then we shall group animals according to their body covering in this video and in your exercises. Okay, now let's move on to grouping animals. Now, like I said, we have learned about animals how by grouping animals by how they move. We have learned that there are five ways on how animals move some animals can walk or and run some animals swim like um uh, clownfish some animals would fly such as bats um, some animals would jump um, kangaroo example and some animals would crawl such as ants or crocodile and then this week we shall talk about their body covering, grouping animals by their body covering, and then we shall talk about what they eat, and this is will be covered by next week. And we shall talk about where they live in the future. So let's move on by grouping animals by their body covering. So there are, in year 3 Brunei Darussalam, there are three types of body covering that we need to learn. The first one is hair or fur and the second one would be feather and the third one would be some animals are covered in scales uh, body covering means body covering um, hair or feather or scales that covered the body now let's move to hair or feather what is hair a uh, hair or fur so what is hair and what is fur so hair and fur is more or less the same but usually in human like us in person like us this is our hair in animals the hair is a lot so we call it fur that is what i read in the internet a fur means lots of hair like this one this picture and for us human this is hair little hair like our, my hand i have little hair so this is called hair but not fur because it's not thick and it doesn't cover my arm but then our head we call it hair so for animals animals we usually call it furs because there's a lot of hairs okay let's move on to um, which of these animals which of these four animals have fur covered with fur or hairs hairs or fur here if you can see here the letter s is in red letter s is in red which means that one one hair only one we call it hair if there's many we call it hairs um one we call it fur one fur and not us this is not fur this is um hair uh, one fur many furs color many if there's many we call we add s first so which of these four animals have hairs or furs let's check the answer not eagle not prawn not tortoise and the answer is wait a rabbit the rabbit body is covered in furs excellent now let's take a look other animals that have hairs or furs would be a chimpanzee chimpanzee body covering is furs hairs or furs now a kitten a kitten is covered with furs and then 
a slot you can see here slot is covered with furs and a uh, lemma lemma is covered with first first macam budu budu next mm, a tiger you can't really see here let me this is a picture of close up close up picture of first this is fur of a tiger and next would be red we can see here in this picture and a gibbon gibbon have hairs of fur um, panda also in the same group so this animal is grouped the same they have her hairs or furs is in the same group okay next we shall talk about feathers now what is feathers feathers is like this usually usually birds have feathers birds have feathers only birds have feathers now remember that birds have feathers now you can see here one feather many feathers like i said at s for many feathers if you can see here most of the feathers are actually more or less the same design the same design i mean the same it looks more or less the same but some some feathers would be big and others would be very small but it looks more or less the same and the colors is different of course but the design is more or less the same um, i'll show you in a moment let's take a look uh, between these four animals okay between the four these four animals which of the following have all covered in feathers now let's check the answer animals that covered in feathers would be not the frog not the polar bear not the scorpion it's the oops sorry hornbill hornbill are covered is covered with feathers now let's take a look other animals that is covered with feathers that are covered with feathers are an ostrich you can't really see in this picture the ostrich but let me show you uh, this is the feather of an ostrich now like i said the design is more or less the same it looks more or less the same maybe some are bigger maybe some are smaller but more or less the same and to can if you can see here the design is more or less the same but it's in different color okay this is feather also white and this is black uh, maybe there's feather smaller feathers here which is in yellow okay next animal would be like i said the hornbill hornbill have feathers you can see here it looks like feather here and here okay and pelican pelican have feathers all over except for its feet now usually birds its feet the feet they are walking on hit this one it does not have feathers other part of the body yes have feathers except big and fit usually most birds would have the same way their beaks no feather their legs not fe no feather but all over the body neck body have feathers now these two animals a duck now this is a duck feather and this is a blue jay blue jay have very nice colored feather see like I said, it's more or less the same design. This is feather. And this is a penguin, not penguin in the TV. There are many kinds of penguin. And this is one of the penguin, different types of penguin. Now, penguin have very small feather, very small. If I'm not mistaken, in the picture they show in Google, if you search in Google, it shows that the feather is very small, very, very small and close up this looks like this and this is a macaw it looks like a parrot but the name is macaw maybe it's a parrot macaw is another name yeah maybe but it have feathers here long and big feathers to compare with penguin penguin have very small feathers next now next we shall talk about scales now what are oh, scales scales actually looks like this now these are scales seasick in bahasa melayu would be seasick now there are different type of seasick here 
See in this picture. Kalau if it's fur, fur is smooth. Fur, fur is smooth, a little smooth. Feather is more or less a little smooth, smooth than scales. Licin, scales kasar sikit kasar, uh, kasar. Maybe licin tapi kasar. You can feel it. It's very quite rough, quite rough. Maybe not all, but most of it are quite rough like this in this picture. Okay, it looks rough. And it is in different design, but all of these are the same. They are called scales. Now, which of these following animals have scales? This one, a rat. This one, um, what is it? Koala bear. This one, seagull. Or this one, a uh, butterfly fish. Now, let's check our answers. Not the rat. Not the koala bear. Not the seagull, but the butterfly fish. The butterfly fish have scales, sisik ikan. So, fish scales, we call it scales. Ikan, some fish, most fishes, most fishes have scales. But not only fish, some other animals also covered with scales, such as. Yeah, this is the butterfly fish. You can see the scales here. See sick. This is a chameleon. It's not a fish, but it have scales. Let's take a look close up now. This is its scales for chameleon. See, it looks rough. I'm not sure how it feels with your fingers. I never touch a chameleon. I know fish, but not chameleon. Next. Next. A crocodile. Now, this is the skin of a crocodile. Crocodile is covered in scales. And a tree boa snake. A tree boa. And this is, this is its scales. It, it looks nice, but it is called scales. See? Scales. It doesn't look the same. It's not like bird. Bird, most birds that have feathers feathers looks more or less the same different color different size but more or less the same but scales is a bit different this is um, look different than this even the design is different this look nice the design i mean i don't touch snacks actually now other animals that have scales would be also a snake this is the scales of a snake you can see here it's different than tree boa just now and also a tortoise if you can see here this is the leg of a tortoise the leg here like like now on the top we don't call it scales we call it shell this is its shell but the legs is covered in scales see sick like this one one scale two scales three scales okay other animals would be a uh, and no lizard and no lizard um this is its scales very small scales and that's the last one so this week's exercise for this week exercise uh, read your notes and do exercise provided through google form or microsoft form for year 3, I provided Microsoft form. Okay, you can print out, you can print and stick in your book or put in your file. So later, uh, in the future, we can use that again. You can read it again. Okay, when the school reopens especially. Okay, let's recap week 5 lesson. Animals can be cooled by their body covering. Some animals have hairs or furs. Some animals have feather and some animals have scales. So, um, thank you for watching our lesson this week for year three. For those who are new, um, you can subscribe um, this video, my channel, and like and share with your friends. So you can we can learn together. All year three in Brunei Darussalam can learn together with me, Chigoroni. So until next week. Um, we shall meet you again for next week new topic, inshallah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. 
and see you again next week.